I won't insult you by recounting how much Dominic Diamond's guide to video games and how to survive them changed the world when it came out. You already know the story, and if you don't, there are dozens of YouTube videos and documentaries out there already. But the question I want to answer in this video is, how does the 1992 classic measure up to more recent guides to gaming? Let's compare and contrast with Ninja's Get Good, My Ultimate Guide to Gaming from 2019 and A Student's Guide to Gaming by Reagan Rose, which came out earlier this year. The first glaring difference is DD's G2VG's AH2ST has a whole chapter about arcades, which, needless to say, don't get a mention in either of the books which were written in the past two decades. He gives a rundown of all the different types of people who frequent arcades and suggests shooting kids on sight, making it the only book of the three to promote child homicide. It's also the only one which mentions sex and cum, both of which appear in a chapter where Sonic, Mario and Bob Holness compete in a coolness contest. Ordinary mortals don't understand how an aeroplane functions. It really shows how quickly Sonic became an icon when you consider this book came out only one year after the first Sonic game, and already he's seen as Bob Holness and Mario's equal. Mario had, for the first and final time, moved over. Reagan Rose doesn't say you should shoot children or anyone else. In fact, he explains why murder is wrong. Have you ever considered why murder is bad in the first place? But it's not just Rose asking the big questions. You won't believe how often the person Ninja hired to write his book gives up on writing a book for Ninja and puts the onus on the reader instead. From tell yourself why you want the keyboard you want to take notes on how you move while you move. This book truly is a DIY dream. Look at this page. Write down what you know. How much do you really know? Write it down. Well, I know you saved a lot on ink. At least when Dominic Diamond wanted you to take your pencil case out, it was to do a real brain busting puzzle. In fairness, blank pages are a rarity in Ninja's book. Usually it's a photo of Ninja himself, sometimes spread over two pages, but always with a Red Bull logo or can in shot. One of these photos features incomprehensible guidelines which fail to impart any kind of practical information beyond your desk should not be higher than your chin and your monitor should be exactly one distance away from your face. On that note, I have to bring up this chart. Now, there's nothing I love more than making a creative decision for the Infinite Review which drives viewers away, so it is tempting to hold on this chart for a solid 20 minutes to let it really sink in, but I'll just step aside and let you pause and look at it for as long as you need. But okay, Ninja's book does contain some practical advice. It might be the least in-depth acknowledgement that it's important to exercise to avoid the kinds of aches and pains that come with extended gamer time, but it is an acknowledgement. So one point to Ninja for reminding players to move their chin down a little and to raise their arms now and then. Meanwhile, Dominic Diamond pitches a telephone which can only order pizza. Ninja also describes the pros and cons of various streaming software and advises against paying for extra cores that your PC isn't going to use, while Dominic Diamond says that nobody knows what a bit is, and even fewer know what a byte is. I should say, Diamond's guide to gaming did make me laugh several times, and Reagan Rose did make me laugh once when he called the Bible a book that's filled with words. I don't know, it just caught me off guard. But Ninja's book is, by design, not amusing in the slightest. Games are serious, and this is homework. Don't you wanna get good? Don't you wanna get that dub? This is a book about playing Fortnite that is so po-faced it contains a quote from Sun Tzu. Somehow, Reagan Rose's Guide to Gaming, which mentions God or Jesus Christ, 
on every single page manages to feel more light-hearted. It's also the only book of the three to say video games are a waste of time, so I must award it points for honesty. And on the subject of wasting time, you know that's not your time to waste, right? That time is God's gift. Every platinum trophy you've ever earned in a Yakuza game is a declaration of how little you value your time on this planet. Get your arse down to confession. The final chapter in Diamond's book is a directory of video game terms where you'll find CD-ROMs described as discs that contain rubbish games with nice film intros, John Madden described as unfeasibly fat and Games Master as the first decent video game show which spawned rip-offs of inferior quality. Aw oh, come on, Games Republic wasn't that bad was it? Hello, Hello Bandit. Bandit. Welcome to this place. Mm. Ocean now then. Hunter. Yes. yes. Well, imagine, if you will, a kind of undersea world version of a Dirty Harry movie. I'm and trying. You've got... Well, it's right there in front of you. It's Ocean <laughs> right. Hunter, basically. So he's hunting for an ocean? <laughs> but maybe not. No, maybe no. not. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's hunting for all kinds of sea monsters which are causing havoc, basically. <laughs> Unusual helmet he, he had there. I beg your pardon. There's no need for that kind of... <laughs> he's, uh, that Will one he have one to shoot Will he come into it? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly, if he's gone swimming. Is he likely to have trouble with crabs? <laughs> it's five seconds. Can he survive? Oh, it's a snake. Three, two, one. One second. He's succeeding. Oh, yes. fantastic work. Superb. Congratulations. Go on. That snake. Go on, gave me the willies. <laughs> oh, dear. Well done, well Alexis. Well done, Alexis. Congratulations. You have succeeded in my challenge, and I am proud of thee. Well done. <laughs> what did you think of that? It's OK. It's fun. No, oh, I mean, that's... That's, that's, good, that's good television. And now, an interview with Dominic Diamond. Dominic Diamond, author of Dominic Diamond's Guide to Video Games and How to Survive Them. Thank you very much for agreeing to speak to me. I know. Uh, very glad to be here. Thanks for having me. You wrote this while you were still working on Games Master. Games Master was actually at the height of its popularity at the time you wrote this. Have you any... Uh, Games Master memories in particular that you'd like to share? No, I think the body of work really speaks for itself. You know, it's like everything was left on the on the operating table, as, you, as you'd say. Uh, there wasn't really a lot. We always shot very guerrilla style. There wasn't always a lot left on the cutting room floor. Uh, everything had to make it in there for, for air dates. So uh, everything you saw, you know, you've seen it already. If you've seen the show, <laughs> you've seen all my stories. I have, I have, I've, I've seen the show. Uh, yeah. a, partic a particular favorite of mine was when you visited the set of The Lawnmower Man 2. Mm, mm, yeah, great days, great days. Any uh, stories from the set of Lawnmower Man 2? Yeah, like uh, I got to meet uh, the guy who played the part of Job. Uh, and they were about halfway through shooting when we went. So I was, you know, I said to him, why don't you start acting a bit more like Jim Carrey? Uh, and he did. He threw his dignity to the wall and just started doing a Jim Carrey impression. That was, and and the film was better for it. And you, you're a fan of the film Lawnmower Man too. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'd say so. You check my letterbox, you'll see it's one of my top five. Same. Don't want to put you on the spot here too much, especially since it has been thirty years since you wrote this. But uh, on page hundred and four here, you describe. Daisy from the from the you say Daisy the fair princess in the Mario games famous for getting kidnapped and needing to be rescued in almost every game she appears in what are you on about Daisy uh she's the princess in the Mario games as that's, we all know that's incorrect uh, it was incorrect at time of publication it's incorrect today it's, it's not the, the Daisy is the name of the the princess, the and, fair princess in the Mario games. Yeah. Daisy at yeah. the time this this was written, Daisy had appeared in one Mario game. So you'll see my point. Famous for getting kidnapped and needing to be rescued in almost every game she appears in. I mean, fair. Look at that. Oh, that's good. Dom likes that. That's great. Do you like that? I do. And now, an interview with Ninja. 
Ninja, you're competitive by nature. You say that several times in the book. Is that why you wrongly thought that you could top Dominic Diamond for best book about gaming? Well, Dominic, of course, was uh, massive in the 90s. Uh, but, you know, times have moved on. I, I've never seen Dominic in the Fortnite space. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I've never seen him uh, win a battle royale or, uh, or I've never seen him dab or uh, hit the gritty. You know, I'm a massive fan of Neymar Jr. Uh, and, of course, Fortnite allows me Neymar Jr. versus Venom versus... Uh, Pickle Rick versus uh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat, it's all in there. Bananas and pajamas. Bananas and pajamas. Do you think there's a danger in drinking too much Red Bull? Uh, what possible danger could there be? It's just a fizzy drink. I brush my teeth after every can. So what prob what what is the problem? It's not really a just a fizzy drink, is it? I mean it's a lifestyle as well. Well, the key word is life. It's life giving, it's life bringing, it's a lifestyle. Aqua vitae, mate. Get yourself a get yourself a big glass of water. What does that taste? What what do you bring in what do you bring into the game there? Good what health. does water taste of? Nothing. Good health. Nothing. Fuck off. Ninja uh you say, let's get that dub. Uh, I just wanted to ask, uh, what does that dub mean? Well, I'm a huge anime fan. And I can't, I, I can't read. You're torrenting your anime. You're looking at the results. And just as someone's about to click on the subtitle version, you say... Let's get that dub. I'm an athlete. I'm an e-athlete, e-sports. So for you, there's, there's really not much new under the sun. But still, I'd like to show you this. Oh, my God. I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to be driving down the freeway in that. Coming up in my rearview mirror. An interview with Regan Rose. Thanks so much for agreeing to talk to me. I... Just wanted to ask one thing about like on page 28, you say one of the worst things in a game is that feeling when you reach the end of a level and realize that you have forgotten to bring some crucial item. But in real life, the stakes are much higher. If you reach the end of this life and have not obtained the most important possession of all, it really is game over for you eternally. I was just wondering when you say eternally, are you what are you saying there exactly? Hell! Hell? Hell! Reagan Rose, thanks so much. I wanna say, the plan from the start was to just talk about this one, and I only read the other two to see if there were any overlaps, and I didn't expect to feel depressed about what I found. Dominic Diamond's book is for children, and it's fun. Ninja's book is for children and it's like reading a user manual for Peugeot 206. And while this is quite charming, a little self-deprecating and fully aware of what it is, this Ouroboros of hype and product placement concludes with, if I could do it all again, I'd do it exactly the same. Life? Oh, I couldn't have done it better. Truly inspiring stuff. But even if Ninja hasn't learned anything, I have. I no longer think video games are evil. They're not. They're actually very enjoyable. But that makes them a distraction. And we need to stay focused. Because, let's face it, we have all inherited the guilt of Adam, who sinned against God, and we have been complicit in this rebellion against our master ever since. Don't lose sight of the path. Do things correctly. Go in peace. Amen. And also with you.